वॉट इज स्टैटिन इंटॉलरेंस हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई एम डॉक्टर सौरभ चोपड़ा आई एम अ क्लिनिकल एंड इंटरवेंशन कार्डियोलॉजिस्ट आई वुड वॉन्ट टू टॉक टू यू अबाउट स्टैटिन इंटॉलरेंस इट इज अ वेरी कॉमन एंटिटी एंड पीपल ऑफन डिसकंटिन्यू स्टैटिन बिकॉज ऑफ स्टैटिन इंटॉलरेंस मेनी पीपल आफ्टर स्टार्टिंग स्टैटिन विच आर वेरी कॉमनली प्रिस्क्राइब्ड to control your cholesterol levels and if you have had a previous cardiac or cerebrovascular event in the form of a heart attack or stroke in the past so if you have had one of these events doctors commonly prescribe statins and it has been found that many people discontinue statins or have certain reservations about statins and they discontinue it without asking the doctor so i would like to reiterate that statins are a very important medication especially if you have had a cardiac event or a cerebrovascular event in the past it has been proven that they reduce the incidence of mi and death and future stroke if you have had this even in the past or you are predisposed to these events so i would urge you not to discontinue statins without consulting your doctor what is statin intolerance some people a lot of times they report muscle pains and fatigue very commonly they also complain of joint pains dizziness and sometimes if they get a blood report done they might show liver enzyme elevation so these symptoms are very vague and not necessarily they might be due to statins so you have to understand that that it might be due to some other causes like thyroid problems vitamin d deficiency or the condition for which you are on statins for so you should understand what is the cause behind statin intolerance is there any alternative to statins yes they are there so if somebody is actually suffering from a statin intolerance or a true statin intolerance then we have options like we can reduce the dose of statins we can try alternate day dosing or we might consider adding or substituting with non statin alternatives which are like ecsk9 inhibitors but the problem being they are very costly but they are very effective also so they can reduce ldl cholesterol to 50 to 60 percent then that there is drugs like azetamib and bempedoic acid so azetamib works differently like from statins it lowers your ldl cholesterol absorption from the intestines being absorbed in first and the statins are causing reducing the ldl production from the liver and they have other benefits apart from that and bempedoic acid also acts synergistically with statins it lowers ldl cholesterol if given in absence of statins also it has been found to be beneficial so all in all it has been found that these drugs are not as effective as statins in the case of azetamib and bempedoic acid or they are very costly as in form of pcsk9 inhibitors thus if somebody is having true statin intolerance i would urge you to discuss with your doctors what are the possible alternatives that we have how we can reduce our symptoms and yet prevent a cardiac or cerebrovascular event in the future so if you are statin intolerant i would urge you that apart from considering statin alternatives take care of your diet as in take less saturated fats less ghee oil intake and focus on your healthy lifestyle continue to exercise so that you can maintain an optimum weight and help controlling other risk factors as well apart from that there are non statin alternatives like bempedoic acid azetamib pcsk9 inhibitors which might help thank you